go good. Big one in. All right. Okay. Nice does it actually, job. Does like seal? It does. Yes. It, does. it is a pressurized box. The same, um, we want the box to be the same pressure as inside your lungs. Oh, wow. <coughs> it's crazy when that like piece closes and you're like, <laughs> you can't feel your you breath. Really feel yeah. like you're suffocating yourself because yes. there's like no, no air, air going yeah, you in can't feel it. Yeah. Like, it's like <laughs> self suffocation going on. This is gonna What is up everybody? In today's video, I will be answering the question, what is a pulmonary exam? And I will be doing so by taking you with me to mine. In case you were new to my channel, my name is Nolan Hines. I'm battling cancer for the second time and I'm making these videos so that I can personally remember everything that I've been through and hopefully help others along the way. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications so you never miss one of my videos. Let's get into it. Side note, I'm not a doctor, so keep that in mind. I am simply just explaining through personal experience. The first time I had to get a pulmonary exam was during the early parts of my second battle with cancer. I had no idea what it was or why I was getting one. And let me tell you, it was quite a shock and it really took my breath away. Ha, you see what I did there? Took my breath away. It's a breathing exam. So clever, <laughs> nice. Anyways, back to the point of the video. What is a pulmonary exam? Simply put, a pulmonary exam, also known as a respiratory or lung exam, is a thorough assessment of your respiratory system. It involves a series of tests and physical evaluations to check how well your lungs are functioning. The test measures lung volume, capacity, rates of flow, and gas exchange. The information then goes to your healthcare provider who assesses the overall health of your lungs, which allows them to diagnose any problems and or decide whether further treatment is necessary. So why are pulmonary exams so important? Well, they play a crucial role in early detection and prevention of respiratory issues such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and other lung disorders and diseases. Early intervention can make a significant difference in managing these conditions effectively. But why am I taking a pulmonary exam? In my case, I took a pulmonary exam before getting my bone marrow transplant to make sure my lungs could handle such a strenuous process. Which then leads me to this pulmonary exam that I'm taking you to today in order to test how my lungs are functioning six months after my transplant. This way my doctors can identify if my lungs were affected from all the chemo, radiation, and other transplant related treatments. And if they were affected, then they could see by how much because they had the original test to base the information off of. Now you may be wondering, do you need a pulmonary exam? Well, if you're in my case, aka battling cancer, I would highly recommend it because it's important to know how your body is functioning throughout all of your specific cancer battling treatment plan. It helps you and your doctor find and understand the problem, if there is one. Also, if you have a history of respiratory problems, smoking, or have been exposed to environmental factors that could impact your lungs health, yes, yes you should get one. But other than that, if you're not noticing any issues with your lungs or breathing, there's really no need to put yourself through this exam. I will say though, regular checkups are essential for everyone regardless of their current health condition. So what can you expect during a pulmonary exam? Well, the exam itself is pretty simple and straightforward. And if you're lucky like me, your healthcare provider will guide you through each step, ensuring your comfort and understanding throughout the entire exam. They are like the breathing coach you never thought you needed until now. But I will say this, pulmonary exams are definitely one of my least favorite exams due to the fact that they seal me into a breathing chamber and then make it difficult to breathe. I personally find it really challenging to hit the standards that they require when administering the exam. I also rarely ever get the results needed on the first try. Either way, it's easier than you think and it's nothing to get stressed about. Thank you so much for joining me today for my pulmonary exam. If you are interested in learning more about my second battle with cancer series, it will be on the screen and in the description for this video. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover in future videos. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family as I would really appreciate it. Knowledge is power and by spreading awareness, we can collectively help our well-being. 
Until next time, take care of your lungs, stay healthy, and know there are no limits. Peace. Wow, I, I actually held up a peace sign in real life while doing a voiceover. <laughs> Crazy. Peace.